Hey y'all, N4H&H &H here at the uh, trailhead for Buckeye Knob. Let me uh, pan around. The trailhead is technically a uh, bushwhack head over there. You see those down trees at the curve? Let me zoom in a little bit. See the down trees there? You just do the best you can to find the easiest slope there. And you go up a uh, bushwhack about 150 feet maybe and you'll intersect the Duncan Ridge Trail and you'll make a left and follow that all the way up. That's about 0.6 miles, I think, to the uh, summit of uh, Buckeye Knob. So, and I'm here with uh, friend, our friend Charlie from Arizona, NJ7V. Wave at him, Charlie. Hey there, Charlie, NJ7V. And, uh, and of course, uh, there's Richard in one RBD. And uh, well, the, uh, our other soda banditos couldn't be with us today, but uh, we're gonna take Charlie on some summits today. And uh, Bruce got us here today. We don't have Rusty because, well, because W4KWM couldn't make it. Uh, so we had to uh, do the best we could with Bruce. So we'll catch you on the trail maybe and then up on the summit. We'll be monitoring 14652. So give us a call. Ha ha. You won't, <laughs> you won't know that, right, until you see the video. All right, take care. Well, we just slugged our way up that 150-foot bushwhack. It's the easiest bushwhack in the world. And Charlie just... Uh, verified that, yeah. right? Easiest ever. <laughs> Easiest in the universe. All right, so we're on the Duncan Ridge Trail, headed up to Buckeye Knob. Hello, N4H and H here. We are nearing the summit of Buckeye Knob. N1 RBD is already up there. He's probably already worked for his first four. Uh, there's NJ7V, Charlie. What's your YouTube channel? Red Summit RF. That's right, Red Summit RF. And uh, so we're going to get up here and try to do our first contacts on two meters. And then we're going to do some HF action. So we'll catch you here on the summit of Buckeye Knob. That's W4G slash NG-017. 73. Hey y'all, N4H and H here. I'm actually sending CQ right now using the auto keyer uh, up here on Buckeye Knob. Hey y'all, N4H and H here on the summit of Buckeye Knob. There's my setup, the uh, LNR Precision MTR 4B version 2, my Pico paddle, a little LiPo battery, 1100 milliamp hour, the NY4G NFED half wave portable fed with RG 316 10 feet of it and then I'm secured to a tree way out there about to operate the 30 meter band hoping to catch you on the air hey y'all in 4 H and H here on Buckeye Knob here's Richard the famous Richard in one RBD he's in beast mode look at that log We're having a fun time up here. His entire rig fits in that soda bag there, that soda beams red bag. Look at that. Look at that neat little setup he's got there. Let me zoom in. Yeah, there we go. LNR Precision MTR3B, and then he's got his own homebrew uh, infed. Now I'm gonna work my way over here to NJ7V, Charlie from Arizona. He's here visiting with us. Hey there, boss. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, good, good. I wore him out on 30. <laughs> good. I'm uh, chasing somebody here real quick on the on the tw on 20 sideband. I mean, sorry, 20 CW. Oh, 140615, I saw that. Yeah. But you can't hear me. Too many stations in there yet. Got a Pico panel? Yeah. That's what I use. Yeah. Too bad they don't make them anymore, right? I've got a red cable like that, but it makes my paddle reverse. Yeah, I just reverse <laughs> it in there. <laughs> yeah. 
My radio won't do that. That's an LNR oh, weakness, yeah. yeah. But y'all, that's Charlie. That's NJ7V here wearing it out with his FT817. What antenna are you using? Oh, look at there. He's got an link dipole. Yeah, man. He's got a nice setup. Let me go down there and show y'all. Got his mast. It's the kind of mast I use. He's got it bungeed. Uh, boy, we love all those little little trees like that. So yeah, here we are at Buckeye Knob. Hope y'all uh, enjoy this little segment of the video. And uh, you know, sometimes we get in a hurry, and I don't always get to show the uh, operating. <laughs> and uh, last couple of videos have been tough hikes, so this one uh, get a chance to show you guys some some action here. That's how it's done, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Yeah, yeah you get a summit to summit there. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. This is N4 H and A. There's N1 RBD and NJ7V. That's Richard and Charlie, and this is N4H and H, and we're finished up here on uh, Buckeye Knob, left it as we found it, and we're headed on down to the trailhead to get to uh, Bruce, my soda mobile, and we'll head on over to Coosa Ball. Hope to catch you there. 73 from N4H and H. It's more the same. N4H and H here at the trailhead for Coosa Ball. There's N1 RBD and Charlie and J7V. I was gonna get you while you were filming. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, parked here at the trailhead. We're gonna head up the 0.62 mile hike to uh, 4,300 feet of elevation above sea level to the uh, wonderful rock outcropping at the summit of Coosa Ball. Catch you in a few, in 4 h and H. Hey y'all, in for h and h here. <laughs> Check this out. Um, my friend Joel KC4WZB set up in a similar fashion on this summit last time, so I'm gonna try it. So just secured the end of my NY4G infed half wave right there on a stick, no rope. And then working my way back. Uh, whoop, there it goes, that fryer right in the nose. Sorry y'all. Um, Working my way back to my operating position, there's the 30 meter uh, segment, and I'm gonna go ahead and undo that because I'm gonna go straight to 30 meters. If you leave that connected, you can work 10, 15, 20, and 40. Uh, so there it is over the same limb Joel used, <laughs> and then coming on back. So not doing a lot of elevation with it this time, like I did. Uh, over on Buckeye Knob a while ago. So we'll get back over here to the operating position and uh, there's the trekking pole. Stand it up, pull the slack out. That should do it right there. So here we go. Gonna get the radio on the air. 73 for now from N4H. That's my operating position over there, N4H and H here. Um, yeah, look at the antenna. This, this NY4G 
EFHW portable is just a bomb. Thank you, Ariel, for such a fine antenna. Um, I just did some 30 meter action. Summit to Summit, Colorado. Got France. I'm wondering if he's using the remote. Is France on 30 meters? I don't know. But anyway, so. Huh? I can hear New Zealand shaking <laughs> Richard worked New Zealand, y'all, <laughs> on 17 meters. He's excited. Um, he should be. Okay, so now I'm, I'm my buddy Dean. Y'all bear with me a second trying to do this and hold the camera. Uh, Dean, K2JB, just messaged me. Uh, I apologize. Trying to get this. Uh, there we go. Getting that Anderson power pole connected. Because Dean wants to chase me and for him, I need to go to 80 meters. So I wanted to show y'all something. Uh, gracious, these briars. So if you watch the earlier portion of the video, you see that how I secured the end of my antenna. Now I'm going to extend that. So NJ7V, I appreciate him filming for me here. That's Charlie visiting from Arizona. So Dean texted me, he, uh, my buddy Dean, K2JB. He needs a contact here for Coosa Ball. So this is where I secured the end of my NY4G infit half wave uh, while I just worked 30 meters. So now I'm gonna pull it off and this is how I connect it. This is a quarter 20 um, nylon bolt. I just slide it on there, kind of ratchets on. Thank you, Ariel, for making this the size you did, that drill out. Uh, and then uh, connect the Andersons. And then I'll just find me another uh, tree. Line. By the way, you can see because of this loading coil, it's not all that long that it adds to the antenna. So, uh, and look, for 80 meters, I'm not trying to work the X. So I uh, just ought to do it. Just find me something to latch on to here. Four feet off the ground, I know, so I'm going to have to stretch it a little bit. But it may be forgiving enough that that'll work uh, once I get everything in the air. Thanks a lot, N4H and H. Hey, y'all, N4H and H here. I just want to let you know, walking up to here, hill here a little bit from there's my operating position. Richard N1RBD was up here and uh, <clears throat> he worked New Zealand. Kudos, Richard. <laughs> Is Richard. that your longest contact on soda? Uh, yep, it is. I've worked New Zealand uh, running 100 watts from a POTA station, but uh, 4.2 watts. A whole 4.2. Yep. And there's no KW behind that. That's no. just a W. <laughs> 4,200 milliwatts. Wow. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. Uh, you don't have to have big power to work uh, the world. That's probably about 8,700 plus or minus miles. Well, good good for you, Richard. Uh, so, all right, I just wanted y'all to... See that? Look at this. Richard's got himself quite the setup here. Stool and all. All right, I'm going to go tear down, and we're going to head down the mountain. Thanks for watching. This is N4 H&H. &H.